We're back in London. Today at Central St. Martins, we're going to meet with Louise O'Hare, founder and editor of the London Bookshop Map, to talk about independent publishing. Hello, Louise. Hello. Thank you for having us here today. So tell me a little bit about the London Bookshop Map. It started in 2011. Basically, I wanted to make a map because there wasn't one and I thought it, I would like one. Yes. <laughs> come across, because I work in the arts, I'd come across a number of art bookshops in East London, which you kind of had to discover through word of mouth or you sort of gradually heard about. So there was Luminous Books, which was at that point down an alley um, behind the back of a warehouse um, oh. as a pop-up on a Saturday morning. There were these bookshops that I'd become aware of and I thought it would be great to share them. I think the first issue we did 10,000 copies and this, the second issue we did 20,000 copies. Wow. And they're freely available in every bookshop. So it was like this, both, both this distribution network through the bookshops. Because of course if you normally make an artist's work, an artist's publication, then you have to try and get it into the bookshops. And so it was already very easy to do. So the first edition of the map started out with 87 independent bookshop and now it has 107? Yeah. So what's the criteria? Um, it was always based on recommendations, so the bookshop yes. was always recommended to me by either I, I thought that they had a really great selection of books and they were really doing what I think an independent bookshop should do, which is um, that'd be run by people who passionately care about, um, about the publications they're selling. A few bookshops have dropped off the map because they've closed down and my understanding is that actually independent bookshops are closing in London um, and that's why people need to support them by getting out and shopping in them rather than yes. just talking about how much they love independent bookshops actually buy some publications from the bookshops not use Amazon so now it's going to be its fifth edition right yeah, yeah we've just published the fifth edition of the map which has a work by Camilla Wills um, so do, in every issue works. you feature a work of an artist? Yeah, well, um, the first couple of issues were writing by artists. Um, I like the idea that you had this literal interested in bookshops audience um, and that then, that then they might be people who might be more likely to get engaged with reading a piece of writing mm -hmm. that might get them into an artist practice in a different way. Um, Dora Garcia made a work for the map and then we, she also made a project for the app, the London Bookshop Map app, which um, can show you your nearest bookshop and also let you search by specialisms so you can find um, your nearest antiquarian bookshop or your nearest second-hand bookshop or your nearest children's bookshop. Her and Henry came up with the idea to make new stories out of the existing stories um, and doing this by taking, taking one line of the story, putting it through an algorithm. So you take one line from the story and muddle it up with a second line from another story and then have a third line and a fourth line if they exist because some of the stories are slightly shorter. Um, and so then what happens is you have the app and you press the button, tell me a story, and an entirely new story comes up that's made out of all the original stories. Um, so the story we have for this one is, uh, just go on, a mysterious benefactor turns a poor young orphan into a gentleman of means. To survive, one has to kill the other. Luminous books. Tender Books, X Marks a Book Ship, Banner Repeater, Don Long Books, Art Words, Tippy Tin. 